Hi, welcome to Plot 94. I've had this since April 2023, so not quite a year yet. Today's project, building this. This is my first YouTube channel, first blog, first allotment, lots of firsts, lots of mistakes. Bear with me. Today, I'm going to crack on with this. Thanks. Under my arm. Very dry. Let me crack on with this and I'll be back in a short while. Settled it up. It's up, it's not pretty. It's on the wonk like the rest of the plot, but it'll do. I'm gonna get a second one, I think, but at the size of it, but definitely gonna get those Logan Bridge in today. Get rid of the rubbish. Cardboard can stay up here for the uh, compost heap. my Loganbury from home. It wasn't doing very well. I only had four Loganburys off it last year. Um, so now I've got the plot. It can go up here and we'll make good of it. I'm going to get my spade. You can watch me dig all. Best gloves ever. Waterproof. Lined, keep your hands lovely and warm. Right, I'm going to dig my hole here, move this back a little bit. I don't want too much of it. Oh, the ground is so wet. This locum break is from home. It was in my own garden for the last two summers. Not done very well. It hasn't even really lost its leaves this year. I got four locum bridge last year off it. Yes, they was beautiful, but they're my favourite. So I want more. So it's going to be loved and cared for up the allotment. And hopefully we get a few more. This is really long. I'm not sure whether I should prune it or not. 
rag fill, a bit of horse milk, a bit of soy oil. Just give it a little healing. Have a look at this. Oh my word. Some of it has snapped off. Oh, that answers that question. I might give the snips of that propagated one. We tie this in and see how we get on. Right, I'll go and find my scissors. Don't need much, just a bit tight up. I'm sure it'll blow down. Get another bit. There we go. We'll tie that bit in down there and hope for the best. Where's me? Honestly, I keep losing these scissors. Give it a gain. Nothing to lose, lots to gain. I'm not sure whether if you can do it like you can with raspberries is just cut a bit off and whack it in the ground and hope you get another plant I'm going to give it a go with that side because there's lots of buds on it looks healthy let's do that where's my plant peels sofa near a bud somewhere never done this before see that's new growth so if I cut it just under a bud, take a couple of these leaves off, because they didn't lose its leaves because it's winter, and I'm just going to stick it in down there, whack it in down there. I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up, and then I'll take you on a little tour around the plot, see what we've got left in, what's ready to come out, there's a little bit of weeding, not much, because people quite surprised how not cold it is. I thought it was going to be freezing up here this morning, but it's quite actually quite warm. Might have to get my coat off. Right then campers, let's see what size these parsnips are. 
Ooh, get me gloves on. Let's have a go. Would usually use a fork. Oh, it's another blackberry. Let's get rid of that. Let's have a go. Would you usually fork? But oh, I left the fork at home. Oh, I've got two. Three. Oh, they're good ones. They're not as big as my normal, what I've had, but yeah, these are good. Nice size. Good for the stew pot. Well, I bit of that. Oh. Fill me all back in. This bed could do with another good weed. Yeah, they're quite nice, actually. Look at them babies. I'll have some of them for tea in a stew. Right, this is what was the potato bed last year. End of last year, I put some beetroots in and some spinach. As you can see, the spinach is not looking so great this morning, but it'll come back. Just needs a good tidy up and a bit of a weed in there, to be honest with you. But that bed's horrendous for weeds and blackberries. Mulch this bed, ooh, about five weeks ago. That was onions in there last year. I think this year it's going to be corn and pumpkins this plot bed still got some of my parsnips in i have been absolutely blown away by the size of those this year my biggest so far is four and a half pounds one parsnip four and a half pounds digging one up later on for uh, sticking in a stew pot there's a rhubarb under there somewhere and i've just planted those little twiggy bits of Loganbury, so we might get Loganbury's on that side as well. Not sure what I'm putting in there with the raspberries and bits and bobs this year. Raspberries? I didn't say you plant raspberries. Planted Loganbury's. In this cage bed, there is cauliflower Romanescu. I think I planted them a little bit too late. They've uh, got nice big plants, but as yet, no collies. It's just been so wet. I've not been able to get up here. And with it being Christmas, I think I spied a kohlrabi in there as well. But yeah, cauliflower Romanescu in that cage. This is my baby. This is my basket cage. Made that two trampolines that I got for free off Facebook. And, uh, some scaffolding netting. Took a couple of, uh, two weekends of getting it sorted and dug over and getting things in. Big godsend. And it's only pinned down, so if I ever want to move it, I can just lift it up and shift it. But this year it could be alright for another year in there to grow my brassicas. This is my garlic. We love garlic in the Wilson household. So uh, I planted, I think, 56. Didn't expect them all to take. But it's looking good. This was planted out, I think, end of November. Right, second to last week of November. Last weekend of November. And uh, literally fertilised it, whacked them in. And that's where they're going to stay. I think in the summer I might just interplant them with a few carrots. Because I've heard that garlic keeps away the carrot fly. So we shall see. We'll have a go at that. Don't know until you try and all that. This is just a load of blackberries, raspberries, loganberries, honeyberries. They was all given to me last year and I've just put them in and hoping for the best. There's a big rhubarb in there somewhere which I can just see starting to sprout. So uh, we'll get some rhubarb pies this year because that's the, it was already a big plant that somebody dug out whole and gave to me. So I gave it a rest this year when I put it in. So hopefully this year I should be able to get some nicer stems off it. This is just a bit of a wildlifey flower area that I have. Strawberry bed. And look at those broad beans. These are aquadolci. Put these in in beginning of November. 
there's a few missing but they seem to be coming up nice i've got another stash of uh, i think another 12 or 14 plants at home in the greenhouse so uh, they'll they'll be well they've only just been put in they quit they went in on new year's eve so they'll be a few months like a month or so behind so which is good so i should have a succession of those looks like somebody's netting's blown in my uh, plot during all the storm but if that's all i've acquired then uh, happy days wildlife pond love this pond it's got a couple of cheap old pumps in needs a bit of a tidy up i think i might do that next weekend come up and bring a as my son calls them as a fizz but a garden pond net have a bit of a tidy up in there get it sorted ready for uh, all the frogs and things i've seen a couple of frogs in there since i put it in it's only been in about 10 months so uh, it's not doing bad not doing bad these are homemade compost bins. They haven't been in the plot all that long, actually. I um, did these end of October, beginning of November, you know, a bit of a heavy rainstorm. It was freezing, torrential rain, and I came up and I thought, I need some big compost bins. I've had the pallets knocking around for a while. So, uh, brought the husband's drills and screws up, raided his cupboards, and built these. Cannot believe how much they have dropped. When I first built this up and filled this, this one bay, it was full to the top front panel. And now we're down to about just halfway, I think, just under half. They could do with a good turn, but uh, I took my fork home for a project at home that we was doing over Christmas. So uh, I've not got it up here to do it, but I think next weekend I'll bring the fork up and we'll have a bit of a turn of the old uh, compost. Tidy up the pond, turn the compost and look at uh, getting the level ready for when I get my polytunnel in. The sons have bought me one, that must have been really good. I think I'm going to have a coffee in the she shed and uh, evaluate what, what needs doing, what don't need doing. I've got a few bits to put in the compost bin, brought a few things up from home that I need for when I build my polytunnels. I'm going to get them stored in the shed. And uh, thank you for watching my very first YouTube. Oh, be kind, be very kind. I've never done anything like this before. I'm going to try and edit the best I can. And if I can do some editing, I'll try and put in what the plot looked like when I first got it and a few photos of progress through the summer and how it had changed from one big open green space to what it is now. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Enjoy yourself. Let's have some frosts.